uh, a lot of your uh, argument for um, these regulations is based on global warming or, or climate change, which seems to be the term that's used. But aren't you really talking about global warming? Not, not the ozone one, sir. That's in I, I know not the ozone. I'm going to the broader brush now. Well, Carbon we by way of example. Well, we call it global warming because it, that is not particularly an accurate term. It's a change in climate which can result in many different types of impacts. And, and is sea rise one of the concerns? Sea level rise, yes. Uh, what is the largest body of ice on the planet? I don't know that, sir. I'm not, I'm not a scientist. I don't want to answer I, that. I'm sorry. You don't know? You're, we're talking about melting ice that you are arguing is going to increase sea levels. That, in turn, is going to cost the American people billions of dollars to try to rectify based on these standards that you're pushing down on them without congressional approval. And you're telling me you don't know what sir, the largest body of freshwater ice is on the planet? Sir, I don't agree with the way in which you've characterized this, but I hesitate to go down the lines of speaking like a well, scientist. You've had the I mean, it, it scientists should, here that you've wait, been I, I, I've got limited discussed. time. You don't know that the Antarctic yeah, well, continent I'm aware comprises Antarctic, about 70 to 90 Arctic, percent yes. of the freshwater ice on the planet? I mean, that's a rather remarkable amount. That's, that's not like there's a close second place that you have to worry about. Now, have I refreshed question? your recollection with respect to the Antarctic being the largest body of freshwater ice on the planet? I'm, I'm aware of that. Now, now you're aware of that. Okay, that's good. Um,